Okay, so I'm about to do y'all reading for the rest of um August. It could go into September too, but I mean it depends on who's watching and who resonates with it. But starting off, I actually already pulled y'all cards because I started the reading, but the camera died, so I just left them out and I'm gonna start over. Okay, what came out first was consciousness and cosmic flower. So I feel like it's telling you to be conscious of what the things that you put into your body. I feel like you'll know what that is if this is for you. Like, be conscious of if it's building you up or taking away from you. Um, it could relate to things like the things you pay attention to or the people you have around you. Is it building you up or is it helping you self-destruct? For others, it could be related to love. Where it's saying like, um, be conscious of what people bring into your life. With all this red, it could be like, be conscious of sexual connections that you have with people. They're very important. Like... People transfer. They can transfer more than just diseases. Like people could really transfer their um, emotional state or like their demons in certain ways to you through sex. The cosmic flower definitely reminds me of sexual energy, especially if you're a female. But anyway, moving on. It's starting off with this seven of swords energy. So I feel like you could be dealing with or thinking about. Like when you hear a love reading, the person you think about or want to know about, they're in the Seven of Swords energy. So you feel like they're the type of person who will do anything, say anything to get what they want. They're very sneaky, vindictive, underhanded. And it's old to you. Like, it's very, it's played out to you with the Four of Cups. It's very much played out. You have the Four of Cups, Ten of Swords. The Son of Knives. This person is clearly up to no good outside someone's house or that looks like a church. But he has a knife. So he's coming to somewhere that's good. So that I feel like that could represent you being the church. Not saying that you're perfect, but like... Your place of worship is like mostly within yourself. Um, and this person is representing the Seven of Swords person. Just seeing a place that's there for good, like a church. So I feel like I'm talking to a cancer who has good intentions when they do stuff. Not just good intentions, but they, for the most part, don't try to do anything to hurt people and probably are very like way too helpful in certain situations this is a person who just comes to bring bullshit like he's clearly on bullshit coming to bring arguments or drama or could be abusive or just bringing bad vibes with the um, Sun of Swords. So it could be saying things that are not true, harsh, disrespectful. But it's a very immature. So this person is like comes off as obviously not worth your time. I feel like that's why this Ace of Coins is here. Well, I feel like for some of y'all, the Ace of, Ace of Coins is there because this person is is trying to offer you something currently or they will in the near future so the mother of baskets being in the near future you could find yourself um because this is cancer energy you could find yourself opening up to them this is reminding me like i was saying the the, the red flowers and this cosmic flower it's making me feel like some of y'all could open up to them like physically and have sex with them. So, um, 
yeah, we're going to see how that plays out when I clarify this card. Because that's what it's telling me. That's what I feel like. Like, you see yourself as trying to take things slow or, or to try to examine the situation and see if it could possibly be something different or a way to work the situation out. So you're trying to plan and see how things could be figured out. That could be outside of this person as far as your life or it could just be about you giving them a chance to see if they have changed. This person sees you as the Empress, so they're big queen. So they see you as somebody who is supportive, like I was saying. Um, Somebody who could possibly be, like, protective over them, especially if they decide to be nice to you or open up to you about what they might need or want you to do. Because the big queen is responsible for a lot of people. So they see you as somebody who they can depend on. Um, with the nine of coins, you could be focused on money. I feel like most of y'all are focused on money or business. And I'm wanting to be comfortable. Okay. So with the ace of sticks being the last card out. I feel like it's representing sexual energy, but I'm going to clarify. So we got the lovers, the three of wands, and the eight of cups. The bottom of the deck is the father of sticks, which is fire energy. So they could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo person. But they could be any sign. So like I was saying, I feel like it's sexual energy because we got the lovers. After that, and the three of wands. This person has their back turned on um, and focused on like... other endeavors and i'm saying that not just because of the three of wands and this ace the fact that it's clearly an old person but they're re being represented by the knights a knight of knives ace of sticks and the eight of cups is the last card out I feel like there there may be a really strong sexual chemistry between you and this person. But as far as like what both people want to create in the world. Or plans that they have. It's like totally different with this Eight of Cups. This is about somebody having to walk away from something. That's not going to give them what they want. Or, being walk, or somebody walking away from you. Because you're not giving them what they want. Either way, it's about examining emotionally what somebody wants and that person coming to the conclusion that they're not going to get it from this situation and walking away. That could be you. That could be them. But this is the energy for the next couple of weeks. Let me see. What's the message from this deck for cancer? Conscious connections in a trust. So that's telling you pretty much to trust your intuition. Y'all got conscious connections. Consciousness came out as the first card out for y'all. And um Yeah, I feel like some of y'all are being told to look at the bigger picture of, like, pretty much all that glitters is not gold. Even though, like, I feel like this person comes around, there's a sexual chemistry. There's something that could be toxic that they leave with you. 
So it's pretty much telling you be conscious of what you open yourself up to, which is the message that we started with. But let me read this message. Well, some of it. Number 35. which is the number eight which reminds me of cycles so i don't know something going round and round why did i go to 38 which is restore and replenish so you can need some rest some meditation some detoxing or something there is a call for more intimacy in your immediate relationships. There is an opening for the heart for a heart to heart conversation to salvage or restore what is broken. Sometimes it's hard to bear the differences between one another. One person may be willing to live life in higher definition, whilst another may prefer to live in a more ferociously hold on to live it more what is what did i mean i don't know what i mean until they have the confidence to step onto the center stage of their own life story so that's clearly what we was just talking about i don't feel like i need to read no more two people being two different wanting two different things out of a situation um, one person being willing to, to do things better, working on a higher frequency, like it said. One wants to live in higher definition, while the other one has to gain the confidence to be center stage and be who they truly are, or tell the truth about who they are, or even really figure it out. Because I feel like the Seven of Swords person is just not on your level, or wanting the same things as you. But they come around or come to you as if that's what they want. But it's to get something that they want from you. So. I think that's the message for cancer. I hope y'all got something out of this reading. Thanks for watching. Peace.